Good morning. You're joining us at quarter past four in the morning. Um, we're off to the RH Fisheries Monument 2. Um, so I've come down to Alan's Fishing Tackle, which is the place where I work, as most of you all know. Um, I've just got to grab myself some maggots, um, as it is maggot season now at the monument. I went to fetch some boilie last night, which I'm going to crumb up as well to put in there. And I'm hoping that effort is going to make a reward. <music> Fisheries Monument 2. Um, we're on peg one today, which is a double peg, um, which I'll turn around and show you guys now. So we've got Joe on the right hand side, me on the left. Uh, very, very spacious, as you can see. He's got the front porch on his, which we're sitting in nice and warm. Uh, my Titan Eyed XL. And I'll show you the bait that we've been using in a sec. Uh, we've not long been cast out, maybe two hours or so. There has actually been a couple of fish showing as well, which I'm pleased about. Um, we'll see how it goes and I'll uh, update you in a sec. Right then guys, we're about three hours in now. Uh, nothing to report as yet. Which I'm not too fussed about, you know, it's uh, very early days and in my experience on this particular lake the second day tends to be the better of the two some people might argue different but that's just in my own personal experience I've caught the majority of my fish on these sessions on the second day um, for those of you that don't know the peg um, there is a bar and I'm just fishing one slightly up the bar and then the other one I'm fishing just down the bar. So the thinking behind that is obviously if they if they want to be sort of in the shallow water, they've got that covered. And if they want to be in the deeper water, I've got that covered as well. Um, I'm fishing two simply red wafters, which I'll show you the rigs and stuff later in the bait. Um, just sort of match the hatch style over a bit of crumb and some maggots. Um, as I say, still very early days, so keep you updated if anything happens. Right guys, we're coming to the end of day one now. Um, just topped up the spot, some reed on the rods, uh, ready for the night ahead. Um, while I've just done that, I just thought I'd show you what bait we've been using. So, we've got a mixture of maggots and Simply Red Boily. Um, just crushed in the Ridge Monkey Crusher, as you can see there. Just been adding maybe 50-50, to be honest. Just topped up with another sort of 10 spoms over, over the two rods. Um, just getting ready for dark and hopefully a bit of action will come our way. There's been no fish off the lake today, um, it's fishing quite tough, but we'll keep going and uh, I'll update you later on if anything happens. Right then, just come to have a look at Brandon's peg. He's in peg two. Um, he's fishing two just over the plateau, are you? Yeah, yeah, just over. Here he is, look. Newest oh. member of Team Allens. 
<laughs> uh, again, no fish for brand, but as I said earlier, no, there's been no fish off at all today, has there? So, yeah, it's been quiet, man. Yeah. Should have been sure, but... Yeah. I'm still camping out with a few boats, it's just the pressure's dropping tomorrow, so hopefully that will spare him on to have a little feed. Catch up with you later. Well, the fish ain't eating, but we're going to eat in a sec. Nice little few curries from Milan Lounge. Let's take in. Right, we're a couple of hours into darkness now. Uh, nothing to report as yet. Um, I have just heard one bosh, funnily enough, not too far away from where I'm, uh, I'm fishing. So, fingers crossed, I'm still hopeful. And I'm uh, going to try and get a few hours sleep and then get up fresh in the morning, give them a bit of a freshen up, the rigs, the bait. And as I said earlier, that pressure is meant to drop quite dramatically. So, if that can have a decent effect on the fishing, I'm hoping that we could nick a couple of bites. We'll have a go anyway. Cheers, guys. Well, good morning from a very wet monument too. Um, it's absolutely lashing down outside, as you can probably hear. Um, it took some serious effort to get out of the pit at 7 o'clock this morning. Put the waterproofs on, redid the rods, um, put some fresh bait out, etc. Um, the weather's looking bang on, to be honest. I'm still hopeful of a bite I'm just going to keep slugging it out right till the end um, you've got to on this lake because as I touched on earlier on in the vid sort of the last few hours of the session are, in my opinion have been some of the best hours of the session um, I've had times when my rods have been on the floor and nearly been dragged in so the wind is still blowing sort of into the left hand corner into Brandon's peg so I'm hoping that He's going to get a bite. Um, I don't care who catches one out of us if, as long as one of us gets a bite. Um, we'll keep going to the death. I'm, I'm still hopeful and fingers crossed we can get one on camera for you. Yes, Brian. Get in, son. Let's have a look at him, see how big he is. Right then, here we go, Brian. First time on Monument 2, and he's showing us how it's done. Uh, 23, 23 and a half. Um, he's just shot one down the corner, happy day. He's redone his rod this morning, and away it's gone, so well deserved, mate. Bro. Newest member of Team Alan showing us how it's all done. <laughs> so well done, mate. Nice one. Here we go. Let's get him back, Brent. Happy days, mate. Well done. Well. Until the last sort of three hours of the session now, uh, the weather's cleared up, luckily, uh, just in time for pack up hopefully, um, still nothing as of yet, peg 11 has just had a fish maybe an hour or so ago which is a good sign I would hope, uh, and there has still been an odd fish moving just sort of in this area here, so still hopeful you know you're in the last few hours of the session now so it should be the best time of the day um, but we'll see just gonna get a brew on and uh, warm up for a slow pack down well then guys nearly at the very end of the session now lights fading fast as you can see um, nothing else to report just the one fish for Brandon um, me and Joe both haven't had a bite yet, unfortunately. Still time, I suppose. Um, not sure why we've not caught, to be honest. We fish well. Um, I suppose you just don't know what sort of other people's bait you're fishing over, whether there's too much there. 
you don't know how much to put in and stuff. We've not put loads and loads of bait in, um, only maggots and boiler crumb really. Um, as I said earlier, we fish sort of towards the bars where you would normally catch. We've definitely not done anything wrong, I don't think, just one of those things. Um, so unless I get a bite in the next sort of half hour or so, I'm not going to see you again. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.